Can the police arrest the CTC chairman, given that it is the duty and function of the police to arrest anybody flouting the Constitution? What offense have they committed to be sorry? That's the question. Have they committed any offense? Oh, interesting. Have they been said, um, if um, the court has said a governor has no right to impose caretaker committee at the local government level and the government has done that what um the court didn't say anybody anybody so imposed should be arrested and uh, when you say you should arrest the local government chairman what does that mean you are saying that the governor can be arrested can the governor be arrested the answer is no the governor has the immunity it is the governor who took that decision who appointed them now that the court has said no, Mr. Governor, you have no such power to so do. Uh, what the governors will do, and there is a consequence for that, as set out by the same court, to say anybody that does that, the consequence is that their allocation should be withheld. Mm. And so, having done that, what the federal government will do is to withhold allocation. And then what the governor would also do is to ensure that uh, there's compliance by conducting local government elections. So, as seen, for the arrest of those people appointed by the governor, for me, is a, a call to anarchy. It's a call to chaos and should not be encouraged by anybody. They have not committed any offense to warrant an arrest. Okay, so now the point is there is now some sort of halting of the process to conducting local government elections. Can we then argue some legal argument on behalf of the CTCs to say, there is no vacuum in governance. Someone has to fill in no. that space. There is no vacuum in governance. The people that can legally occupy those things are the directors at the local government or uh, they are permanent secretaries or secretary to the council, uh, administrative head of the council, as the case may be. But in, in further violation of the provisions of the constitution, 21 governors, now 20, because Delta State just recently mm, conducted mm, local government election also, mm, mm, and they have gone ahead to swear in their council chairman. So 20 states now. So I'm going to say arrest all the local government chairman uh, caretaker committees in the 20 states. Is anybody calling for that? It is. So why single out only the state? Is the, is the governor committing an impeachable offense to continue to fund the CTCs? Because you have said that the CTCs, can, the persons occupying those positions, cannot be arrested. I mean, all 20 state government and local government, you can arrest all of them, right? So, is this an impeachable offence? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here, our governors abuse appropriation laws with impunity. And then when we talk about um, uh, impeachment, you know, people will say that shouldn't be the only way out. Consistent spending of money without appropriation is an impeachable offense. Spending of funds on local government, despite the fact that the court has heard that those local government councils should not be headed by caretaker committees, also is an impeachable offense. And what I would have expected, like I have consistently advocated, is for both parties, be the politicians in Abuja, it's about river state. Mm. The governor also is about river state. Let the governor also lead those spanning the ego and the embers. And then let him call his friends and brothers, the members, Amehule and Co, into a room. Let them lock their door and say, if we don't resolve this thing today, none of us will come out. <laughs> leave Wiki, leave uh, whoever is supporting the governor. House of Assembly members, leave Wiki out of this. It is for the betterment and for the future of the state. Let them sit down and agree to agree and agree to disagree. Okay. Both parties would sit through, sit down, find a political solution to their problem. This ego tripping will not save it out of them because at the end of the day, and then also, the government will consistently be distracted. It will have to be looking across the shoulder. Forget the, uh, what do you call it, the people that will consistently say, don't worry, we are with you, we are with you, we will... Uh, we are, we, are, we are all fully behind you. I find to come that these same people, once the game changes, whoever is with you will tell you that a new cook is in the kitchen. 
All this House of Assembly member, if tomorrow the court says, you know, you are not more House of Assembly members, the supporters will automatically have to go. Hunger will be the next name of the game. Including the governor, if tomorrow anything happens and he successfully in Peter, and we know it is the government, they will tell you go to court. And whilst you are in court, there is only a limit to how much people can support you. After some time, they will begin to say, oh boy, I'm going to get my own problem. I'm going to get my own problem. You know, so that's why, over time, wisdom should be allowed to prevail. All right. And let parties sit down and resolve their differences. Leave us wiki, leave us whoever is support. And also, wiki should be advised consistently. You cannot sit down in Abuja and be funny embassy of war. In River State, there's a need to give and take. Wiki will not take this from anybody as a governor. So, you shouldn't also, what you know you can't take, you, can't, you shouldn't give what you can't take. What he knows he can't take, he shouldn't try to force it down the throat of some other person.